hello friends I have got with a new video after the request that I need to explain more about some specific books especially about the modern India how it is so now I have got two books one is modern India of uh, Vaji Ram and Ravi and second the most famous book of modern India the history of modern India that is Bipin Chandra so we will see the similarities and what are the basic differences of two books and uh, how it cope up uh, with the challenge so we'll see how it is so we'll go first with the Bipin Chandra that you can see everyone uh, would have read that there are uh, 14 separate uh, this topics they have it has been categorized into 14 topics and you can see that it it goes from the time like Mughal era then 18th century then it goes European penetration of British con uh, conquest and then government then 1857 and then after that nationalist movement you can see here and then religious and social reform nationalist movement struggle of Swaraj and then finally the struggle of Swaraj and then independence so this is how Bipin Chandra goes it is like 333 pages 333 page with the small and you can see that how the writings and all and this is the basic book which everyone has to read I have just bought it after reading this Baji Ram then I can definitely tell you that what are the differences so we we have seen that Vipin Chandra it, it, it goes by the timeline from uh, decline of the Mughal era and then till 1947 so now we will go with Baji Ram and Ravi general studies of modern India how it goes so uh, friends before I go I, I can tell you that because of copyright issues I cannot go and read each and every part of it uh, about uh, Vajiram but yes I can give you a quite good summary that how it goes uh, and uh, what are the important points here and what it makes difference and then the Bipin Chandra and why it is like a notebook kind of uh, history which we can get it for entire uh, modern histories for mains as well as for prelims so I we can there are three sections uh, basically one goes till uh, 1857 I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in detail there are three sections first section goes till uh, 1857 and uh, the second section it goes from 1857 to uh, to the uh, independence 1947 and after that it goes about the different uh, facets different uh, important topics it talk about so there are uh, around 22 uh, points we can make it uh, there are major 22 points the first goes uh, starts with European uh, when the European came into India and after that it describes about Mughal how Mughal declined and then uh, British acts it talks about entire British acts how separate uh, different different British acts came up came up like uh, charter acts education policy and different kind of policy then it, it dis describes completely about economic policy what is importance what is not importance and then it goes with land revenue policy and then de-industrialization uh, that why it was important why it was not important and what was the benefits and what was the loss for the uh, Indian country then it goes resistance before 1857 what are the main resistance and second it goes uh, resistance uh, of 1857 then uh, after 1857 what are the major revolts then it talks about the reforms cultural reforms social religious reforms then then we starts with Indian nationalism it, it starts with Indian nationalism then it describes uh, all the facets of Indian Congress and then Hindu revivalization, Hindu revivalization and its influence in Indian national <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, it talks about extremisms. Then it describes entirely about Mahatma Gandhi. A separate different chapters are there for Mahatma Gandhi. <coughs> then it goes about national movements. 
then world wars what is the difference with world wars communalism women and national movement dalit movement evolution of foreign policy now what is difference here like some topics it it comes different time like age wise if you go 1857 we have it it talks about entire 1857 um, what what has happened and what are the resistance what are the important facts what are the re, uh, rebellions what are the revolutions it also talks about a separate chapter called popular resistance that is related to 1857 and then other also like uh, 1947 or before 1947 there are different type of movements uh, civil uh, disobedience movement and other movements it also talks about in in gandhian separately it talks so what it means like uh, some important topics some Im- important events are being talked different different uh, times like in different different chapters so what happens like it it, it gets revised once you are reading in this chapter then again in in uh, other chapter you are reading it so uh, what happens it it gets revised and then in a different perspective also the same event can be talked about so this is the important fact about it so yes if we are reading it uh, modern india by bipin chandra which i have to read once again but i have gone through and i don't find anything uh, you know in uh, different in bipin chandra if i have read it once this uh, wajiram and ravi so as i said earlier i am taking uh, history as a subject uh, for mains as well uh, so Uh, this book i feel it is very good especially for the gs purpose for means what is going to happen uh, what are the books we need to read that that we will decide it separately after the pre prelims